I'm Wynn, a member of our horticulture team here at Franklin Park Conservatory. Um, and right now we're out on the Grand Mallway uh, next to one of our Circle Island beds. And you can see next to me is a variety of bulbs, which include, among other things, um, a wild type or a species tulip. Um, this species tulip in particular has white petals, um, that bright yellow center with a little bit of dark marking on the outside of each one of the flowers. Um, obviously you can notice that there's multiple flowers per stem on kind of a smaller plant with, with narrow leaves. Um, and that's something that contrasts pretty strongly with what you may uh, more commonly see in landscaping during the spring, which are the hybrid tulips. Uh, you can see obviously examples of these next to me as well. The yellow and the darker pink um, have much larger flowers, much larger foliage, and a longer and thicker stem to support the larger flowers as well. Um, these hybrids are the product of uh, what now amounts to centuries of work. Um, people have been hybridizing and working on tulips since the 16th century. Um, they've been brought back from uh, Turkey. They spread all over Europe. And um, people have been turning basically these small tulips. Um, there's, there's several species into what we now use in our spring landscapes to create um, quite a show. The, the species have their own place in the landscape, but obviously the, the showy larger flower have a, a much stronger effect in, in what we more commonly see.